WGN turns 75 this week, and for the past few months, it has been the job of WGN reporter Mike Lowe to help us remember the good old days. Mike is here with us this morning to talk about some of his favorite finds. Thanks for coming in. Great to be here. You had some great stories, and I love when you go back to the archives and pull some of yeah. the coolest things. Like, did you have the programming note for like the the aerobics classes that were on WGN at one point? Yes, we did. Uh, that was that was a funny story. Uh, the, we, but that was one of the first things, uh, first kind of exercise programs that was ever on any He's, television yeah. station so anywhere. And you bring that up and it, it makes me think of all the other firsts yeah. that, that WGN has been a part of. The first courtroom drama, the first quiz show that was ever on television, uh, the first beauty pageant. And of course in Chicago, the first newscast oh, sure. uh, in this city. So mm -hmm. we were innovators in programming, but also on the technological side too. Wow. And you had a chance, with the video that you were able to uncover and the stories that you were able to tell, one of my favorites is the whole Chicago's very oh, own yeah. slogan campaign. Uh, you, you were able to actually track down the ad executive that came up with that idea, right? Yeah, we, we were thinking about what should we do if we want to find like interesting slices of the WGN story. And I, I just asked the question, where did that come from? Mm -hmm. who, who came up with that? Because this was the days before chat GPT. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so a real <laughs> person had to come up with the slogan Chicago's very own. And we made some calls and uh, talked to the former um, creative services director Peter Marino and he directed us to this guy Mike Watercott who you see on the screen next to Lou Rawls there uh, and he he came up with it actually one night at Su Casa oh. um, <laughs> on Ontario wow. Street uh -huh. so while funny. drinking margaritas he wrote jotted it down on a napkin and he saved the napkin That's so, so cool. he doesn't live here anymore he lived in Evanston for like 40 years um, but just moved to North Carolina so we had to track him down in the Blue Ridge Mountains and, uh, and Did he remember story. all of this? To totally remembered it. Uh, he was a part of some legendary ad campaigns. He did Michael Jordan's first television commercial ever. Uh, the Be Like Mike campaigns? Uh, not Be Like Mike. It okay. was a Chevy, local Chevy commercial. This, so this was oh, before oh, Michael that, Jordan that, was okay, okay. big enough to be National McDonald's and Gatorade. This, it was a local Chevy commercial, but the first one Jordan had ever done. He did the uh, Black and Blues Brothers poster of the 85 Bears. That's cool. Um, but he says this was the most uh, fulfilling and his favorite thing he's ever done. And it clearly is the most uh, successful image and campaign. Because it's still going on. And in it's television other, history. other TV stations in other states have adopted it too. Uh, other Tribune state uh, stations like uh, WPIX yeah, yeah, in yeah. New York. In New York. Mm -hmm. uh, but it really doesn't mean the same. No, the connection exactly. is with us. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes, that is great. And you yourself be, uh -huh. were a part of the whole WGN family legend. Your mom, there's a story about a miracle bowl. <laughs> a miracle bowl. So I was an intern at Channel 9 back when I was a student at Northwestern. And so I had kind of always remembered uh, the assignment desk number. And I was living in Germany and I uh, was on the phone. That's my mom on the screen right there. Uh, I was on the phone with her right before Christmas and she just, it sounded like the phone dropped and she started slurring her words. And there I am, look at look that. Look at that, yeah. um, <laughs> and, and she she had some issue with a brain tumor. And I'm like 5,000 miles away. So I got on the next flight, she had to have surgery. There's the doctor, Dr. Awad, who did such a great job. My mom is still with us, she's doing great. She's uh -huh. still teaching, teaching reading. Uh, in the and Glenview. the bowl, did the bowl hit her too? The, the reason that we call it the Miracle Bowl and the reason that WGN wanted to do the story is she was like doing some dishes and putting a, trying to put a bowl uh, back on the shelf and it slipped out of her hands and like triggered this neuro neurological event and uh, she like fell down and I thought she was having a stroke or something when I was on the other end of the line. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like a funny story in our family that like that was on Channel 9. So. And you guys still have the bowl, I was like, right? where's the bowl? We still have the bowl. It's a, it's a priceless family heirloom. Yeah. Well, and I love that you gave me a story. This was years ago. Your parents, the, the folks that know the rocks in Evanston that are painted, your parents were like the first rock out there. Yeah, before, uh, on the Northwestern campus, if you go down there now, it's uh, right on the lakefront. Every student, you yeah. know, couples paint their names with hearts or messages, political messages, funny messages, just artwork all up and down the lakefront on the Lakeville campus. Uh, and my parents had done that like almost 50 years yeah. ago when, wow. they were, so when they were high school sweethearts at New Trier. That's so, so crazy. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. You know, so we all want to be a, a member of the WGN family, part of the legacy. 
And there have been some amazing people who have walked through these doors and worked here. Wendell Smith, one of them. I mean, I growing up only knew of the school. I don't really remember the man himself. And you were able to tell the story of his, his life and his history. Yeah, so Wendell Smith, I think, is one of the most fascinating uh, figures who's ever passed through the hallways of Channel 9. If you were to talk to anybody on the street and say, who are the Hall of Fame, Baseball Hall of Fame broadcasters from Channel 9? Everyone would say Harry Carey yeah. or right. Jack Brickhouse. Right. Uh, Wendell Smith is also in the Baseball Hall of Fame. And there he is in the middle. There's Jack Brickhouse and Ernie Banks he's talking with. He, w he worked here from 1964 to 1972 after an illustrious career as a baseball writer in uh -huh. which he advocated relentlessly for the integration of baseball. And Jackie Robinson himself credits uh, Wendell Smith with, uh -huh. with his career. Uh, it was Wendell Smith advocating to Branch Rickey and recommending that Jackie Robinson be wow. the man to break the color barrier that made it actually happen. And then he worked for us for the final eight years of his career. Sadly, wow. he died very early because of cancer at uh, age 58. But, oh, yeah. uh, but you're right, there's a plaque, there's a school, uh, there mm -hmm. is a park named after him. Um, and he's in the Baseball Hall of Fame, and he's one of Chicago's very own. That is so cool. And I always love that you have that pin on. I want that pin. It's hard to find. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is the Spinning World logo. Actually, the guy yeah. who came up with Chicago's very own, the slogan, also designed this logo. And this was meant to be... Um, the globe we sometimes refer to it now as the hair dryer logo or yeah. it looks like an AT&T yeah, type yeah, of yeah, thing totally. yep. but his idea was that we're Chicago station and we're bringing the world to Chicago that's, so that's right yep. love that's it super Mike. station we don't have any more <laughs> great stories yeah. Yeah. I love it Mike thank you so much and uh, we're going to put together a compilation of all of these stories that will air you can watch it WGN at 75 this Wednesday April 5th from 7 to 9 p.m. there will be an encore presentation on Sunday from 7 to 9 as well. So. Some really great storytelling by Mike Lowell in that yes. program. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thanks Appreciate for having me. it.